back with another product preview as we rip Revolution Basketball in search of some of the coolest short prints in the entire hobby. So many people to thank and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Shop. Thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, next. <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day. So, All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collect 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back for another product preview, uh, but this time it's going to be Revolution Basketball. And this is a product I have enjoyed over the years uh, as it's not one of those ones that we are necessarily searching for just autographs. This is going to be one where we're searching for a cool short print. Uh, so while it does not get the love that a kaboom, uh, kaboom or a uh, color blast or some of those other cool parallels get, the galactic parallels in Revolution Basketball are personally some of my favorite. Uh, and this is a really affordable rip. These are, I, I want to say around $110, $115 this year. They're not very expensive. Again, you're not guaranteed autos in these. And I don't believe they've been that way ever, if not for some time. Uh, my understanding is in the past, it's been around three autographs per eight box inner. Uh, so there's inner cases and there's master cases with Revolution Basketball. Eight boxes and an inner, two inners and a master. Uh, so you have a total of 16 boxes each inner should hold. At least in the past, it's been around three autos per inner. So 16. Uh, in 16 boxes, you would have about six autographs. So not even necessarily one per two, uh, one per two boxes, but Again, things could have changed over the years. So we're going to go ahead and rip these. Uh, each box has five cards, uh, five cards per pack, eight packs per box. Luca on the box this year. I uh, found a couple different numbers here. You got 46 and then 22. So I had to grab 22 uh, and then just picked another random number. It got 46. So we'll start with 46. We'll save box 22 to the end here. So hopefully we can get something good. I'm trying to think. All right, so we're going to be looking for some other parallels in this, uh, stuff like uh, the Astrals, uh, Grooves, a uh, few other different parallels. All right, now right off the rip, it's interesting. Isn't it normally like base card like this, where there's like more base cards and you hit some of the stuff in the back? This is just all like, hey... Cards are right here. This is what you got right off the rip. All right. So we've got a Zion Williamson liftoff insert. A little die cut of Zion. I feel like we haven't seen Zion do a little uh, do a little lifting or lifting off in quite some time. I saw a stat the other day that is kind of kind of crazy. It, it seems like just yesterday Zion was a rookie in the league. Now he's in year four, and Zion has played less games. I think the stat was like Zion's played less games in – all his entire career. I think it's 114. Uh, and LeBron has played right around the same or more in the last two years alone at ages 37 and 38. And I just kind of find that alarming that, oh, I think we got an auto. I find that alarming that, uh, you know, that was the, the concern with Zion right away was, can he stay healthy or is this a concern? And I really, really hope it works out. It doesn't sound like it's a 100% a health concern, uh, like a physical concern, more of a mental thing. Uh, so fingers crossed Zion can get it figured out and get back on the court. But again, I think this is an auto, very first box. So shout out to box 46 right off the rip here. All right, so we're going to be looking for a logo. It's a sticker auto. Don't know if that tells me much. It looks like it might be numbered. It looks like it's a Cav. Can't be LeBron, right? He's... Upper deck. So I don't know who else it would be. I don't even see a logo. I'm trying everything to. Karis Levert. Not who I was after, but uh, Johnny Davis, that is the groove parallel. So you'll notice one thing about these is the parallels are typically right on the back. So if you do find a Galactic, that's where to find it. All right, you got a Karis Levert auto out of 25. Not bad. Probably not as good as it once was, but Michigan guy too, so. Not my cup of tea. Uh, Tyler Hero and then Carl Anthony Towns. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Bo Camp is a rookie. And then you got a Cade uh, parallel. That is fractal. So, again, 
different parallel than we've pulled so far, and then three base. Not a big fan of, like, the cards being in front. I ripped one earlier, uh, and didn't hit anything. Wasn't, uh, wasn't great, but it was the same thing. And I was like, maybe this is just a one-off. Like, maybe this is just a one-off box. Maybe it's just a production thing. But this is actually the second box. So I don't know if it's this, this inner where this is coming from, or if it is, like, this is how the product's going to be this year. That, that's what I don't know. There's Levine, and then Scotty, uh, Astro, Parallel, uh, Levine, Mobley, and Middleton. So we'll see, but definitely not what I would prefer. All right, Jalen Williams. is That's the one you want, right? Jalen Williams with an E is the one you want. Uh, I think, there, yeah, there's a J-A-L-E-N, and then there's a J-A-Y-L-I-N. I think E-N is the one you want. Uh, now, somebody said the other day that it's pronounced Christian Brown. It clearly looks like Braun, like... Um, Ryan Braun for the Brewers, um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Again, you guys know that sometimes I'll uh, butcher a name or two, so wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. All right, that's cool. Uh, Luca, Revolution Shock Wave, not numbered, and then we got something of uh, Diabate, who is also a Michigan guy, uh, Fractal. So a couple of Michigan in this box, definitely not mine. Not my preference here. Giannis, Davion Mitchell, and then Josh Giddy. All right, we got three left. And we'll get into box two. Uh, Blake Wesley and a Zach Levine. So we hit an insert of Zach, and we hit a groove. So a few different, few different things. LBJ, Tyrese Halliburton. All right, so we get anything else in this box. You've got a Jeremy Sokan Rookie Revolution, and then an Astro of KD for the Nets, uh, Conley, Kyrie, and Jaron Jackson Jr., defensive player of the year. All right, last pack. Hopefully there's something decent in here. Uh, Kennedy Chandler, and then it looks like we got a numbered card. So I think there's typically one per box. Portland Trailblazers, Jeremy Grant. 199 cosmic 30 of 99 cosmic jeremy grant so even though we got an auto still not uh, still not amazing per se but as you can tell very short and sweet so we'll move on to box 22 hopefully that uh that's my number hopefully that does something for us Hopefully this is the lucky box. I mean, the last one had an auto. And considering you're not guaranteed, and it was a numbered auto, feel good about that, but we'll see. All right. All right, so it looks like it's another auto. Holy cow. All right, so I'm going to save that. I wasn't expecting two autos in this. Uh, but I will say... Unless I unless I went out of order, that would be two boxes in a row with the auto in the very, very front pack. And the cards are out of order. So I don't know if this is like a funky case or if that is going to be normal throughout Revolution. Obviously, I've only ripped two complete boxes. This is the third. Um, so I don't know if that's all, all they're going to be. But interested to see if that's a production thing, if that's intentional, unintentional. We'll see. But something I plan to keep an eye on. Christian Coloco. All right, Steph Curry. What is this? Uh, Fractal. Steph Curry. Shockwave. A Siakam. A couple guys there. All right. There we go. Banchero, Vortex. And then a Kaminga. Just a base. Kaminga is a Fractal. Uh, another Shea, Bam, and Darius Garland. Huh. Jake, uh, LaRavia, I believe I could ask, but I, I think this guy is, uh, somebody mentioned before, forget where I was, somebody mentioned before that Pac-Man is buddies with this guy. That he's in the cards and Pac-Man is buddies with him. Uh, Diang, 
little, little Astro, I think. Yeah, Astro. Uh, Jalen Green, Franz, Trey. I'm trying to remember who my number one card was earlier. Um, I don't remember. It wasn't very good. And the Chet. Same box. Yeah, the first box earlier was not one to write home about. Bam out of bio. Mm, Jalen sucked. Then I was like, you know what? Let's do a product preview. Let's rip a couple of them. And I decided to grab two and it looks like it worked out. What is this? Groove? Yeah. AD. Diabate again. Michigan guy. Uh, Groove. AD. Uh, Wiggins. Hayward. Mitchell. All right. Two packs left. Then we do have the auto. So. Hopefully there's still a cool numbered card or maybe a galactic. Uh, you got a D-Book Shockwave, and then, there we go, Shea. They're good. We talked about it on Car Talk this week, but I got an Astro, Shea, Gelgis, Alexander. Uh, they've got Shea. They've got Jalen Williams, Dort, uh, Josh Giddy, 15 first-rounders in the next five years, uh, and then obviously Chet, who has not played a game for them yet. So what do you think? I mean, I, I don't think it's crazy to th say that the Thunder could be it could be dangerous, man. They look they look good. So I'm excited to watch them and see what, what they were able to do. Alright, Bryce McGowan's, and then we got a numbered card. Let's see if it's a rookie. It doesn't appear to be a rookie. Looks like someone with looks like cornrows. Uh, but it should be I believe this is cubic, which should be out of fifty. So I'll do the I'll move these and I'll we'll check. Those are just base. Should be out of 50. Out of 50 cubic. So we were right there. All right. Played for the Celtics. Jalen? Yep. Jalen Brown. 24 of 50. Good looking parallel. I do like the cubics way better than the Cosmics, truthfully. I don't know why. I think they just look better. All right. So Jalen Brown. All right. Last one here. Uh, LBJ. Then we got... Darius Garland, Darius Garland, and then going to have a couple base, uh, Smart, and Loy Markkinen. All right, where was that last one? Did it say? I'm trying to think if I can find out who the team is. All right, so it should have it on its side. So Fractal for the Warriors. Could be good. Could be really good. I'm trying to think of like, what's my worst case scenario here? Ryan Rollins is a rookie, right? So it could be a rookie. Draymond? Kaminga? It's probably Kaminga. They probably have stickers of that guy. Yeah. JK. Kaminga. That's a good. He just recently signed, so they probably have stickers of Kaminga. So it couldn't be. I was like, it just can't be Curry. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, Terrible, terrible, terrible auto. I mean, what is that? I, yeah. Jonathan Kaminga out of 100. So I will say, I will give some credit. Again, we'll have to see more of this on a larger scale to understand. But that's two numbered autos. That's not typically pretty common. So would love to see more numbered autos rather than just strictly unnumbered. Um, we'll see if it happens. But a little fractal auto. The one of the worst autos of all time. I mean, JK. No effort at all. None. No, not even a trying, not even a cursive JK, not even like creative where you like, you use the J to time the K and then you throw your number, double zero on the end. Like, no effort. Literally just J, K. I mean, this is probably in all of my years of cards. The Vernon Morrissey auto is bad. That is one of the worst for sure. Uh, this is this is up there. This is one of the top five worst autos I've ever seen in any that I've ever pulled in trading cards. This is one of the top five worst. So cool card. He's good, but that's man, that's bad. They don't I, also hard that they don't teach you know cursive as much anymore. So no reason to, I guess. But either way, all right. What do you guys think? A couple autos, Karis Lavert. Uh, did get a Banchero, uh, Banchero, and Chet in the same box. 
Um, numbered cards were okay. Jalen Brown was was good. Uh, the other one was Jeremy Grant. Nothing, nothing really crazy in the first box. The Karis LeVert numbered card was was a couple rookies. Again, thoughts on the two or three best hits being in the front of the pack, but the base in the back. That's different. Um, autos being numbered again. How does that play out? We'll see. So uh, again, but for the price for you know a few hundred bucks for uh, a couple packs, some rookies inserts parallels. The chance at a galactic, which we didn't hit, but it was still fun. Uh, fun little rip. Again, not gonna break the bank either. So hopefully we'll do some more product previews soon. But for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.